This is Linda Sherman, at Linda Sherman on Twitter, and I'm here with Mari Smith, at Mari Smith on Twitter. Thank you so much for being with us here today, Mari. Good to be here, Linda. Thanks. If you've seen my websites, you've seen a Twitter interview with Mari that is a classic on how to get started on Twitter. But actually, Mari is best known as being the guru of Facebook. She knows everything about Facebook. And today she is going to give us tips about Facebook. So in particular, I know that many of you are interested on how to promote your businesses on Facebook. And so that's what Mari is going to give you tips on today. Okay, great. All right. So here's the thing that a lot of people, what they do is they're a little bit confused as to whether to have a personal profile and a fan page or that they've started a fan page and then they're like, okay, not much is happening. So I see that happen a lot. Now, there was recently a very big change on Facebook where you can enable your subscribe button on the personal profile. And what that does is it actually opens up the ability to share content publicly on your personal profile and anybody on Facebook can now sign up to receive those. It's almost like the follow button on Twitter and they receive them in their newsfeed and in the ticker, what's called the ticker. So I, I'm, I'm a marketer and I think to myself, well, that's interesting and here's a whole other channel and it's growing at an unprecedented rate. I've never seen growth like this in any other social network. And I turned mine on recently and within about three weeks, I've got 30,000 subscribers. So as a marketing tip, you might think about turning on your subscribe button on your profile. Now, the, the face, and, and, and Facebook are calling them up, uh, they're for public figures, so if you're not necessarily wanting to be a public figure like that, and of course you can still share your personal and private content to just lists and family members and lock down the privacy on certain pieces of content. But the fan page really is designed to market a business. You're going to get all the content there indexed on Google, you can add custom apps, you can run contests, you can even set, set up shop. A new area, anybody here is in retail, you have any information marketing products, anything that you want to sell, you can have a whole tab and specifically for people to buy, have a whole shop right there online and there's some great ones, a shop tab or one of my favorites, tab juice is a great one or pavement, uh, since pavement is pronounced, but um, the point is it's called f-commerce, I mean, e-commerce has been huge for many, many years, now we're, we're seeing a growth, a new trend in f-commerce, Facebook commerce, so businesses are actually coming and able to, whether you're B2C or B2B, you can actually be selling products and service right on your fan page and or capturing leads have an opt-in box right there on your fan page too and driving traffic to it and making sure that people know that they can sign up for a special gift a free free um, download video audio newsletter whatever it is you want to give away <coughs> really give away lots of valuable goodies great can can you talk about how to make that op opt-in box real apparent to people mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, you can actually name the app over on the side, and I would say something like a uh, free Facebook tips or something like that. So ah, instead of like, the, the, if you, the, the default is like MailChimp if you were taking MailChimp over, but instead of that, you would change it to, to get something. Absolutely, yeah, it's, and you can you can do that and then behind the settings and even use little characters and stuff. In addition, something not a lot of people know is that every single tab has its own unique URL. So you could experiment with running some ads and deriving them specifically to that landing tab. In addition, I would also, wherever else you've got marketing channels, whether it's on uh, Twitter, followers, Google+, you've got your own email list, have them, well, if they're already on your email list, but maybe a different email list, but have them just go directly to that URL for that opt-in box, that special, and you can add a little video. I mean, the iframes now, you can really do some beautiful customization and make it an irresistible offer. In fact, a really cool little tip for you is growing. It's not, it's not really taken off just yet, but using Facebook Connect, you can capture name and email addresses with zero effort on the user's part. They come to that tab, and, they, and I think it's a conversion tab. You might want to just Google conversion tab. Some friends of mine developed that. And it will actually show, show. so when you're logged in and you go, you'll see there, Linda Sherman, and it's got your email address. Only you know it's showing there. You just click the button, sign up, register. So um. one click sign up, it's awesome. Great. When you were talking about using personal profiles for business, that 
with the um, with the subscribe button that may be very applicable to people who are really known for their name mm -hmm. like they, it, it's not a big business it's just they're a real estate agent or or something that's that's famous about their name kind of a thing would, would you advise them to go that direction in that yes, case absolutely I definitely would and I think that even I'm seeing a lot of uh, one of the, the first group of people to turn the subscribe button on was pretty much every Facebook employee so it doesn't necessarily just have to be someone who's branded their name the point is that you're sharing updates that you're comfortable with the whole public seeing but uh, as I say coming from a marketing standpoint I'm seeing that that what it is you know what there's some psychology behind it what happens is that people love to be connected with you personally and they feel like maybe they've tried to friend you before and you haven't accepted their friend request or that you've maxed out or whatever so now they feel like when they are seeing your content you're sharing through their newsfeed coming from your personal profile they feel like they're more like your friend it's not like as being a fan is a little bit more removed so it creates more of a sense of connection and intimacy yeah which is a good thing for business yes it yeah. is Th th yes, it certainly is. Thank you very much, Maureen. My pleasure. My pleasure.